Self-reflection versus self-correction. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Dr. Robert Kassar, eartheracademy.com. Okay, self-reflection. What does that mean? What does self-correction mean? Those are big, big hurdles to be able to really look into yourself, self-reflection, right? Look in the mirror and really look at yourself. And if you don't like what you see, right? What do you do? You self-correct. So a lot of people at this time, they are not really looking, okay? at the self-correction is because they don't really see a lot of the things that maybe would make you correct, right? And even if you need to correct, what do you correct with? Self-correction. So let's, you know, this can go deep. Let's just say self-reflection. Let's look into the mirror. And this is a lot of people on, on lockdown now, right? <laughs> You're gaining weight. You're drinking a lot more alcohol. You're smoking a lot more. You're doing a lot less. And you're under the spell of the digital mind prison, watching the television all the time, right? That's where you get your information from, right? <laughs> Government-sponsored television. Okay, so anyways, what does that mean? Well, self-reflection okay, is, is inside of you. You can self-reflect, okay, outside, not really, because it's self-reflect. Okay, so self-reflection, let's just get into this. I want you to, because there's a lot of people asking me, what do I do to lose weight? First of all, you need to really see the truth. And the truth is what? Okay, that you need to change it up. Okay, maybe change it down, but change it up. You need to really be able to see, okay, that you have to make some reflections. So what do you do? Well, the easiest way to do is at home, on your own, okay, not in front of your friends or anything else, what do you do? Take off your clothes, look in the mirror, and see the reflection. And I want you to, to really look at the front of yourself, lift your arms up, look from the side, okay? See if you got you know, if you're a guy, see if you got guy boobs, right? Lots of videos we've done to be able to show you. You should not have a bud in your areolar area if you're a man. Okay, watch our videos on, on estrogen-fed society. That's just one little piece of it. Okay, but self-reflection. Let's look in the mirror. And let's just look at body fat. Okay, and remember, there's self-reflection on a lot of things but we're just gonna look at body fat for a sec, but let's just look at also just to keep in mind because a lot of people are taking pharmaceuticals. Okay, that's not self-correction. Okay, that's self-perversion. It's because you're not taking care of business, right? What's that? <laughs> taking care of business. You have to do research and you have to search and constantly search and, and you know, you're the sculptor of your own movie. Right? You're the movie producer, you're the movie director, you're the star in your movie. You're the, the sculptor, the chisel maker. So when you look in the mirror, okay, just like me, remember I'm 60 years old right now, look. <laughs> and, and I still have a set of abs, okay? And I'm 60 years old. Because I self-correct all the time. If I notice that I'm eating foods that will make me so well, I not become healthy, what do I do? I self-correct. Remember, I was on 15 years plant-based diet. Okay, I got sick. What did I have to do? I had to self-reflect. I had to go ahead and actually look at everything, okay? Not from my standpoint, but looking into myself. Then I had to make decisions based on logic and reason, not just based on how I feel. Okay, so let's say you're taking pharmaceuticals. You're taking antidepressants. Remember, 50 million people in the United States are taking antidepressants. Why? It's because you're not self-correcting, right? And, you know, there's a lot of causes why people have depression. Look at my little, my little girls and boys out there. <laughs> Look at these guys. All they do is eat all day. So there's a reason being why a lot of people really 
don't self-correct is because they go to another person to correct themselves, okay? And that's usually not the right way. Why? It's because do you think a magic pill is going to correct your dysfunction in your mind? Okay, remember, you've got heavy metals that you've accumulated. You're putting up phones up to your head, microwave transmitters, okay? And you most likely have aluminum in your, in your brain. I'm going to do a video shortly here, and I'm going to show you uh, using a microwave. And I'm just going to give you a parable of what you're doing putting up to your head. I'm going to show you a couple substances that we're going to use in the microwave. And if you've got these substances in your brain, then guess what happens with that microwave? Look what it does in the microwave when I put these in there. Okay, remember the microwave in your house is the same as the microwave on your phone. It's just got different power. Hey, the sun's coming out now. Now I can take off my... <laughs> it's been cold this morning here. <clears throat> so, yeah, in all the sky today, that's all synthetic. Anyways, that's another story. But... Yeah, those are real ones way out there, right there. But those ones, <laughs> that's another story. As you can see, look. Okay, look, so self-correction. Self-correction would mean that, that you have to know through your self-reflection that, that you need to change it up. So let's go back now to the body fat. Okay, you look in the mirror, maybe you've got love handles. Okay, remember, I want you to be able to see the veins in your arms if you're a man okay I want you to be able to if you can again see your abs okay that's that's a healthy person when you can see a person's abs that means that most likely not everybody because there's a lot of people with abs that are starving too right most likely you're vital okay and if you don't have abs then you know what happens then you can do a million setups it doesn't matter Okay? It's your diet. It's the heavy metal toxicity load you have in your body. It's the plastics that you've accumulated. It's your lymph system that's not move, moving. Right? It's all these little pieces. There they go. They're going to another set of the grass. So you look in the mirror and you can go ahead and see what you like and what you don't like. And if you've got body fat and if you like that, it's only because you're just you know, feeling that, that maybe... There's nothing else I can do to remove this creature. Remember, body fat's a parasite. If you haven't watched our, our videos on parasites, uh, categories one through five, that's a good starter for you to be able to just sort of catch up on knowing what certain creatures that most likely live in your body. Everybody has parasites. Okay, and I gotta, I gotta worm all these guys here this week because they're full of worms, <laughs> okay? And they're eating on the ground, and they're eating whatever they're eating. And once in a while, just like cutting the grass, right? Got to cut the grass, got to maintain things. And a lot of people don't maintain the parasite load because they don't see the self-reflection. Remember, so if you've got body fat, that's a parasite. and eats sugar. That's it, okay? That's all you have to think. And if you quit eating sugar, then what happens? It's like pulling a pin out of a balloon, right? So let's say you are 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 pounds overweight. Remember, there's 100 million people in the United States that are obese right now. 100 million. And those were the stats a while ago. Remember, 50 million people on antidepressants. Okay? How many people are taking pharmaceuticals? I don't care if you're taking a sleeping pill at night. If you're taking a sedative, is because you can't sleep well. Or maybe you're taking a diet pill, right? Or just maybe you're just taking even synthetic vitamins because you're not eating correctly. So, you know, the self-reflection, you know, when you're on certain diets, especially like the standard American diet, right? In time, if you keep on eating like that, every year you gain a little bit and you're not really, okay, because this is a little bit of a mental weirdness, okay? Why aren't you reflecting? How did you gain that much weight? Didn't you self-reflect? Didn't you look at yourself in the mirror? Remember, don't shut the door, steam up the windows, okay? Steam up the, the mirror so you can't see yourself. The mirror's there so you can see yourself, so you can reflect on what you want to change and or what you want to enhance, right? Change doesn't mean bad. So, it may be just trimming your beard, you're reflecting, right? 
man, <laughs> check it out, man. A year. This is my like I said the, when when the the big cornholio started. Well, I'm gonna grow this thing because I never had one before, and I like it. Is because it grounds me. Remember, it's my antenna to to the to the lower worlds, so I can go ahead and see a lot of things, so I can make better decisions. Now, if you do have this reflection, the self-reflection, right, and you see yourself as what you don't like, remember, then change it up. Don't complain, right? Change it up. Watch our videos that we have at eartheracademy.com, 10 bucks a month, cancel at any time, on fasting. Just look at the retreat people that came up. Remember, fasting is, is for you to reset, renew, and rebuild yourself. That's what it does. It's only made to do for short term, just like, well, a lot of diets, like the fruitarian diet. It's a good diet for a week or two, if you want to go ahead and, you know, just cut out everything else and just, you know, make sure that you have organic fruit, right? And, you know, that's short term, just like water fasting, that's short term. The vegan diet, well, in my opinion, you can say what you want, guys, and you're not going to figure this out until you get sick yourself like me. Okay, just like others, thousands of people join different, different, you know, diets, the Beverly Hills diet, whatever diet it is, they, they change, okay, is because they feel that where they're at is not right, so they want to, they want to try something new, okay, but once you find something that works, then, you know, what you're going to do is just fine tune it, okay, so the, the vegan diet, okay, in time will malnourish you in time will give you most likely gut problems like it gave me okay i just put out uh putting out a video very shortly here on the my one year transformation eating animal products and fruit to rebuild myself i gained 25 pounds from the 127 pound freaking malnourished twig i got to be and had a lot of intestinal problems and you know a lot of a lot of mental depression feeling like i'm not whole i'm not whole there's something missing Okay, and what was it? It was nourishment. That's what I was missing. Okay, and you know, these animals right here, okay, if we reflect on them, okay, you're looking through the mirror of this video camera, and they're herbivores. They eat all bloody day to go ahead and keep themselves so they can be healthy, wealthy, happy, and wise. They eat all day long. Okay, same as cattle, same as any herbivore. You're constantly eating grass and they have special chambers in their gut to be able to, and special bacteria to be able to break down this grass and turn it into wool, turn it into lanolin, right? The stuff that's on their, on their wool to make them waterproof. Hoofs, gelatin, heart, kidney, liver, spleen, okay? Eyeballs, just everything. And regenerative powers just from eating grass. And if you just eat grass, guys, do you really think <laughs> that, 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 that you can become an herbivore, give it a try. Don't be shy. There's nothing wrong with it. I did. And I would, you know, only recommend right now, people, if you're going to go on some type of a vegetarian type diet, make sure it's all organic. Okay. And you're going to have to really learn about oxalates. You're going to have to learn about lectins. You're going to have to learn about isothiocyanates. You're going to have to learn about isoflavins, right? You're going to have to learn about, well, phytoestrogens. Okay, again, what is all that stuff? I had to learn it all. Why? Because I got sick. And once you get sick, all you can do, what do you think? All you can do is dig deep. And if you think you're going to get self-corrected by going to the doc, well, that may be so. Okay, remember, I got bit by the viper. Okay, twin venom viper, a snake. I was in the hospital for six days. <clears throat> Intensive care. Had over $600,000 in bills. And I took the magic number, another six, 66 vials of antivenom. Probably a world record. It's what the, the guys in Arizona told me. Okay. That's a lot of antivenom to be able to make me so I can move my hand. Okay. You know, that's an emergency. And you can go to, I worked in the emergency for about five years. And that place will save your life. It saved my life a lot of times. Okay. But management care. All I can tell you is that I worked in the hospital too, in nuclear meds, worked in, in uh, oncology, worked in nephrology. Guys, again, okay, 
if you think the synthetic chemicals are going to heal you, that's why they say they don't heal anything, they manage you. What you need to do is self-correct. And self-correct may be that you need to really understand that you're full of heavy metal particulates. You're full of plastic. Okay? Your body is, is like, like pipes, right? Okay? 75,000 miles of hose in this machine. And they get clogged. The capillaries get clogged. Have you cleaned out your pipes lately? Have you, have you detoxed your liver, your kidneys, your spleen, your intestinal tract? Have you learned about parasites? Remember, self-correction. Okay, so anyways, the self-reflection, okay, if you're overweight, all you have to do is notice that I am in control of my life and I can change me. I can change me. All I need is a little guidance and maybe a little inspiration. I guarantee anybody that follows the Earth Through Academy protocols, practices, and principles, just on the basic level, you're going to change your life really simple. Okay, the skin cleaning protocols is a must once a week. Clean your skin. Strip your skin of all the mold, bacteria, parasites, whatever's living on it. Remember, most people, I'd say 90% plus, have the skin fungus, tinea versicolor. Okay? And how do you get rid of that? Follow the protocols. If your skin is plugged, remember, this is one of the ways that you self-correct. You unplug your skin. Use the sauna protocols, the guashing protocols, okay? The, the protocols that basically you would take in fresh, clean water, which the only water I know that's free of pharmaceuticals, free of pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, and heavy metals, fluoride, and all those things that are in your tap water is distilled water. And you don't buy it because it's in plastic and it's going to taste like plastic when you eat it because the plastic's in the water. That's why distilled water, if you buy it, taste it. What's it taste like? It tastes like the jug it came in. So there's lots of tips of the days that we've done, okay? The little pieces, just go ahead and learn one piece at a time. It's all you can do. It's upgrade, enhance, and optimize, and do what you feel, okay, is, is what you, you know, feel you can do. I just put out uh, a video the other day on my private health sanctuary. This is what it takes to be able to keep yourself healthy in a world that doesn't want to keep you healthy. Okay? Doesn't want to keep you healthy. So again, if you're on pharmaceuticals, what do you think? Do you think that's good for you? I mean, maybe to take them for a short period of time and maybe the damage won't be as bad. But if you're taking things that are constantly all the time, I know so many people that are on blood thinners. I know so many people that are on all these different types of mind altering psychotropics. Is why? Because you feel a little bit insane, crazy, frustrated, depressed. Okay. Well, maybe it's the, you know, could it be possible that your depression is caused by, or mostly caused by, uh, the amount of wireless that you're using. I'm using my smart tech right now, but it's on airplane mode. I don't use my phone ever. I have hardline wired everything in my house. And this is what you have to do if you want to stay away from some of these different ultrasonic. You can't hear them. Okay, watch our video on RF frequencies just so you can hear with an acoustometer. Okay, what these things sound like that your ears can't pick up. Your ears pick up, if they're good, about 20 cycles to maybe 20,000 cycles. That's it. Remember, the wireless is in the ultra frequency ranges. Okay, it's really fast. 2.4 gigahertz is your, your phone. Okay. And what is 2.4 gigahertz? That's pulsed technology, pulsed, dot, 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 right? And how many gigahertz are there? One gigahertz, what is that? How many pulses in one gigahertz? Okay, it's, it's not one million, it's not a hundred million. Okay, what do you think it is? It's one billion pulses per second. Okay, 2.4 gigs, it's 2.4 billion pulses. 
Okay. Million pulses. How about a thousand pulses? Whatever it is, doesn't matter. It's, it's not symbiont to our energy. We don't run on pulse technology. Okay. Anyways, a lot of depression that I see has to do with the amount of maybe heavy metals that you've accumulated in your body. And if you've got body fat on you, definitely remember, you've got a lot of excess baggage inside you. And so what you have to do is you have to slowly purge, purify, right? That's how you, you reduce your excess, purge and purify. But make sure you don't get malnourished. Because just because you're overweight doesn't mean you're nourished. If you're overweight, definitely you're malnourished. If you're overweight, most likely, definitely your testosterone is not here, it's down here. It's way down. If you've got man boobs, your testosterone is down. Okay, if you're a female <clears throat> and, well, your testosterone is down, then you're not going to produce the pheromones that's necessary for the men if they have testosterone to be able to smell your pheromones to want to mate. And we wonder why people aren't having children like they used to, or even wanting to have their children right now. We won't even get into the abortion part. That's a whole other subject. 41 million abortions last year. Okay, you can call it what you want. Okay, that's whatever, we won't say it here. <clears throat> you know what it is. And that's a lot of sin in the mind. Remember, you kill your own children, murder your own children, and that's a sin you can't forget. You just can't. You didn't do it? Yes, you did. <laughs> Someone else did it? No, they didn't. You had the choice to say yay or nay. All under playing around, right? Yeah, one drop will do you, right? <laughs> Like dippity do, right? Remember that you used to put in your hair? One drop will do you. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get back to self correction. And self correction may be a lot of things. Okay, but you know, if, if you're feeling depressed, then, then try to reduce or remove as much wireless as you can. I have a hard line. I use my Skype, $2.99 a month. It's hard lined into my computer if I need to call people. Okay, my, my phone, I look at it personally as a weapon on me. Okay, someone uses their phone next to me, I feel all goofy and dizzy just in a few minutes. And if you don't feel that way, it's only because you're under the spell of the AI prison, the, the tech. The tech loves you and you love the tech and you can't put it down. Okay, that's part of self-correction, okay, is, is giving more time to yourself and taking it away from the AI parasite, which has got a hold on everybody. Okay, it just does. I'm watching everybody with their phones. No one's talking to each other. Not only that, they're all wearing diapers, right? <clears throat> all, you know, this is just common sense. You're not increasing your oxygen when you wear a diaper, you're lowering your oxygen. You're not, you're not lowering your CO2, which is your poison, you're increasing your CO2. You figure that out yourself. Remember, critical thinking. Do you still have any? And remember, looking in the mirror is self-reflection. And that has to do with your ability of the mind to be able to know that your body is your church. And it's not in respecting it. It's taking care of it. It's maintaining it. It's repairing it. Okay, this is my vehicle, my dream machine, my spirit mind, okay? My spirit or my formless avatar that inhabits this machine seamlessly. I dream my hand to do this, don't I? Do you know how to do it? No, I dream it, right? Play the piano, I dream those things. I don't know how it works, nobody does. Remember, we don't even know how a blade of grass works. It's all theory, it's all theory. Where'd the, where'd the seed come from in the first place? Okay, hmm. Does the bird know it's singing? Do you really think so? Or could it be a program, okay, just for us? <laughs> to make us not feel all alone. Just think if there were no animals here, okay? Just think. You would be very unhappy. And that's where you go to the city, that's what happens. The animals aren't there. The only things that are there are rats and mice, okay? Pigeons, crows and ravens. That's it, they're, they're scrappers. There's not anything else. You may get a finch here and there and a, and a few honey bees here and there, but that's all you got. Remember, nature is the miracle, and this is 
the reflection that I live in here and I'm blessed every day to be able to see this with my eyes. Everywhere I look, it's green and life is everywhere. Everywhere. Listen to those guys. They're just singing for me. <laughs> hey guys. Okay, so how many minutes we got here? 25 minutes. Okay, so self-correction, okay, can only be done if you self-reflect. So self-reflect, I'm just watching my words here is because I got my filters on. Because there's lots I would like to say more direct in a different way, but just got to filter too much. Okay, but remember, it is your job. It is up to you to take control of your life. You cannot think that someone else is going to help you, okay, in the way that you think they're going to help you if you go get professional, okay, uh, guidance using synthetic chemicals. What do you think prescriptions are? What do you think medications are? Okay, they're synthetic petrochemicals. They're synthetic. They go into your body. Your body doesn't know what to do with them. You excrete them through your urine and or they get stored. And they cause a lot of different side effects. Why? It's because they're chemicals. They're not natural. Okay? They're not natural at all. So self-correction, in my book, you want to do it as, as natural as you can. And, and part of your self-correction okay, is the reflection of, of understanding that there could be a lot of correction to do. A lot. A lot. Remember, quit dyeing your hair. Quit putting tattoos on your body. You do what you want. You're just poisoning yourself. Okay? Quit dyeing your hair. I don't care. Hey, I like my gray beard. You know why? Because it shows me I've been here a long time and I can tell you about a lot of things. Why? Because I've been here a long time. 60 years. When you're 20 years old, guys, just remember, you're only 20 years old. You've only known what that 20 years can give you and that's not too much. When you're 30, you just start to get a little bit of wisdom. Okay, just because you've tried enough of the good and the evil, of the smart and the stupid, right? <laughs> that was dumb of me to do. Well, that's when you learn, right? Don't tie your shoelaces, you trip over and you fall and you don't uh, trip again. Why? Because you check your shoelaces and make sure they're tied with a double knot. Everybody's got a trip. But there is a system here that wants to trick you. Remember, you are in control of your life. Just make sure you understand that. And if you can't get that part, okay? I mean, guidance is good to be able to see others that have done it. Just because someone wants to tell you something, you know, you go to the doctor, you go to a nutritionist. Why are you 100 pounds overweight, brother or sister? Why? It's because I can't, I cannot in my mind think that I could believe you. Is because if you're going to try to tell me to lose weight, why can't you do it? Why? Because you know that that body fat member is a parasite and eats sugar. And I know if you've got body fat, your body's plugged. It doesn't sweat. Go in the sauna, you'll find out. 30 minutes, you're not sweating a drop. I know, because I've done hundreds of people here at the retreat. Okay? And, and if you're female, most likely, and you're overweight, you're plugged to the max. You, you, you just won't sweat. And if you do, remember all the underarm deodorant, if you put any of that stuff on, self-correct. If you stink, then self-correct. Change your diet. Quit eating onions, garlic. Okay, I'm talking white onions, green onions, and garlic. If you smell, well, it'll take you a month or two to get that crap out of your system. It's called sulfone hydroxylion, and it makes your brain stupid, just so you know. That's why nothing eats garlic, nothing eats white onions or green onions. It's because it's poison. Okay, just so you know. And if you eat it every day because you think it's good for you, well, that's not good. But if you do want garlic when you're sick, well, it's a poison. It's good for you to take once in a while, not put in your diet every day like I was doing with turmeric. I was doing with a lot of different high oxalate herbs. I had no idea because I wasn't taught oxalates in school. I wasn't talking about lectins turning out my gut, right? I wasn't talked about uh, or didn't learn about any of these types of plant poisons. And they must be processed. Okay, you can have some raw stuff here and there if your gut is good. But if your gut has any symbiosis uh, or actually dysbiosis, 
okay, which means you got a problem with it, leaky gut syndrome, okay, and that means that you have a hole in your intestinal tract and it's leaking parasites in your body, it's leaking fluid inside your body, and what kind of fluid? Poop. Poop. Poopski. <laughs> and why do you feel so tired all the time every time you eat? It's because maybe you got a little bunch of holes and perforations and breaches in your intestinal tract. Breach, like a hull on a boat. It's got a hole, it's got a breach. It gets water, it comes inside, and you're getting feces inside your body. And that's causing you to get sick. Parasites that live inside you, remember, what do they do? They poop inside you. That's why the sauna is very important to learn the protocols. I do a lot of good videos uh, on you know, in a variety of different ones, just in the sauna with a lot of, a lot of talk in between. A lot of it is sometimes semi-repetitive. But you know, you got thin people, you got overweight people, you got malnourished people, you got young people, old people. You know, you got to be able to really see uh, how it's effective on everybody. Just have to sort of sometimes attack it from a different layer. Because if you got bad skin, you can't do the guashing, right? No, <laughs> you can't do it. Okay, you have to fix that first. Okay, anyways, got a lot of good videos that we're putting out uh, in the next couple of weeks. I got bit by a brown recluse spider, and I'm going to show you the techniques that I used um, to be able to stop it dead in its tracks because I got bit by a brown recluse before and it took three months with a hole that big in my leg to get better. Okay, remember these are, these are super powerful poisons from this little tiny little spider, <laughs> and it, you don't even feel it when it, when it bites you. And if you do get bit, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to run to the hospital? Maybe you can. What if you can't? Okay. What happens if you get the flu? What happens if you get symptoms of cold, right? And because you were maybe working in a house that was full of mold that day, and you just infected yourself with mold. Maybe you live in a house that's got a bunch of mold. Okay. Remember, self-reflection on your sanctuary. Is your sanctuary dirty? Okay. Is it organized? Because if it's not, that means that this is disorganized. It's just reflection. Okay, as above, <laughs> not only so below, but so exterior. If your mind is dirty, most likely your car is a mess. You need to wash it. You're not taking care of it. The inside has got papers and junk, and it just looks like your mind does. Inside your house, if it's not kept tidy, then that's part of your mind. Okay, I do everything myself in the house. I do my own laundry, do everything myself. Okay. Everything that it takes for me to be able to, to I don't care if it's feeding, the, feeding my little children every day. Look, all they do is eat all day long. All they do is eat. And if these guys eat plants that are poisonous, they get sick and die. So one of the things of self-reflection, like I said, if you're overweight, if you're taking medications, I mean, those are two of the big ones that are, you know, pretty uh, easy to see that the civilization that we call civilization is, well, you can call it an epidemic. Depressed people and an overweight, fat, chubby, whatever you want to call it. Okay, remember, it's, it just means you're in excess. And your diet is the problem. The accumulation is the problem. And you're not doing any de-accumulation or detoxification. That's the problem. So following these principles, practices, and protocols will help you just a little bit at a time to get on the program. Remember, it's not an easy thing to just jump into a new job, right? It takes weeks for you to learn and feel comfortable about the new job, right? Just simple job. You're flipping hamburgers over McDonald's. You just started, okay? You've never done it before. It's going to take you a couple weeks before you know where everything is, right? <laughs> Anyways, you get the, the, you get the drift. Let's go see these guys for a sec. What's up, guys? Everybody got their oranges this morning, banana, walnuts. And they got some organic chips. You can see they got some oranges in there. Hey, buddies. Peanuts. Hi, babies. What's up? And everybody comes in and, and eats. Got the doves in there. <laughs> Yep, we feed everybody. And this is why, of course, you have to worm these guys. You can see licking the water right here, thirsty, and it's got parrot poop in there. Okay, so when you eat poop, 
in that poop, there's a lot of parasites. And if you have a good immune system, uh. hello, <laughs> uh. hello, <laughs> he's waking up, uh. hello. Hello? <laughs> They're scared of the tripod though. Okay. If you have a good immune system, then why would you fear anything? Okay, you know why you fear things? You know why? It's because your immune system has been compromised. And you get sick all the time. You don't feel good all the time. You're tired all the time. And that means most likely that you don't do a lot. And part of living in this world okay, is physical activity. And if you're not doing physical activity and if you're overweight and all those other things, then guys, again, all I can do is show you. Watch, uh, also, is a good idea for you to, to watch the uh, uh, exercise videos. Showing you my home workout, four day exercise work week. I put out uh, how to make bone broth and marrow soup, liver and onions. The number one superfood in the world is liver. Number one, 53,000 units of real vitamin A in every four ounces of liver. Just remember that, if you're malnourished, you need liver, okay? And if you're on, the, on any of these vegetarian, vegan, or whatever diets, most likely you are lacking in a lot of things. And it'll take you years to figure this out if you can rebuild yourself. I am still repairing myself from the damage that I've caused myself. If anybody, uh, I know there's lots of channels out there. If any of uh, you guys want to go ahead and do a collaboration uh, with your subs and my subs on certain topics and we can help people with, I'm open to it. Just uh, go to our eartheracademy.com and just uh, send us a message. And we'll see if we can uh, hook up right? Lots to talk about. And there's lots of buffoonery going on in the world. Lots. Everywhere. Remember, what is right is wrong, and what is wrong is right is the theme right now, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that the theme? Okay, and that's if you're on the neutral side of the fence, because you understand what is right and what is wrong. Okay? And it does take time for you to be able to know what is right and what is wrong. And if you're under 30 years old, most likely you haven't lived here long enough to even know what right and wrong is. That's why your elders are really good to be able to talk to, okay? And, and maybe ask them uh, some things that you could learn. Remember, they've lived here a long time. They've got lots to share, lots of experiences to share. I learned a lot in the hospital just from working in an emergency. Right? Some guy puts his hand in the garbage disposal and he loses his finger. But how did he lose his finger? He asked his, his wife to turn on the light and she turned on the, he, <laughs> she turned on the garbage disposal. <laughs> okay, so every time I turn on the garbage disposal or, or try to learn something, I learn from someone else. And I didn't have to do it myself. So this is what you can do. You can learn a lot of stuff from Earth Academy that way too. Again, I just do this for fun. It's not my, my job, it's, it's a, a hobby that I, that I feel that I should share only because, remember, self-care is self-correction. And if you're not doing self-care, you're not doing self-correction. So take care of yourselves, guys, and we'll see you on the next vid. And we'll walk over to little Boo-Boo here. Yeah, Boo-Boo's been sick for the last couple of days. So I warmed her the other day. She's got a little diarrhea. She might have eaten when they're young, the little babies, if they eat something like a poisonous plant, they can get sick and die. I had uh, eight sheep die is because the person that, that has that orchard right there, okay, sprayed the end of the fence line on the other side with glyphosate and the babies ate it. Everybody got sick, but all the babies died. It took them about a month to die. So if you're eating glyphosate, and glyphosate is Roundup, and that's in, in any conventional uh, anything that you're buying. I don't care if it's uh, even meat, conventional meat, right? You can see her belly's all swollen. It's got a little diarrhea on her, on her tail. What's up, boo-boo? What's up, boo-boo? What's up, baby?
Mush up, sweetie. Yeah. I massage everybody every night. And she's a little, little, uh, and, and uh, hopefully she didn't get any, any, anything that, uh, somebody rents this orchard down there. And I've told them not to use any glyphosate. And you can see the glyphosate they used on, on those brown plants way over there. That's glyphosate. I don't use it anywhere here. It's because I know what it does. And it kills animals and it kills people <laughs> if you eat it. Go ahead and take a spoon of it and see what happens to you. You know what it does? Okay. I know what it does just from the sheep here. It destroys their gut. It makes them so they, can, they eat, but they get malnourished. And it's just a slow suffering kill. So a lot of people, if you know, hey, whatever happens in the animals, if you don't think it happens in people too, you're just fooling yourself. You're just fooling yourself. You know, I used to do a lot of experiments, you know, 10, 15 years ago more 15 20 years ago and with mice from feeding them mcdonald's and coca-cola what do you think that did they didn't live too long okay it's the way it works you can go ahead and just take a couple of mice and you can see if the herbicides you're using in the garage okay or the poisons you're using around just if you take one drop and put it in water and see what it does okay it doesn't kill things it makes them suffer and in time they will die because it destroys their digestion it destroys the 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 microbiome of the gut and and if these animals get their microbiome where it's right there if boo boo gets her microbiome destroyed then she can't break down the oxalates in this grass okay and can't break down the food is because this grass needs bacteria to break it down. What do you think it does it on its own? It ferments the bacteria, go ahead and eat it. Then they cough it back up and they chew it back in their mouth, right? They chew their cud and then they swallow it again. This is what an herbivore does. Do you do that with your food guys? Vegans? <laughs> do you cough back up your food like the herbivores and chew them? And, and you know, people say, oh, well, the, 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 the silverback gorillas you know, only eats berries and look at him, he's strong as an ox. He eats a ton of insects a day, four to five pounds of insects a day. It'll eat meat, it'll eat anything basically it wants to. It's the king of the jungle, okay? And it's got a special fermented chamber. We don't have one, we have an appendix. This is a little one as big as my finger, okay? Fermented chamber makes the vegetables. It makes all of anything that's got insoluble fiber, it starts to break it down. That's what it does. So anyways, okay, enough. 42 minutes. Self-correction is, is how you're going to get back your sanity. And that means you're going to have to do some physical work. It's not fairy tale stuff. It's not praying. That maybe helps. Okay. It's only because you're going to say, I'm going to follow through with my disciplinary measures that I need to put upon myself. And you do need probably a guide to help you right? Call spirit guides, whatever you want to call them, right? Guardians of your world to help you get you in line so you can learn how to take care of yourselves better. Remember, and it's all an experiment. No one's asking anybody to do anything. I'm just showing you what I've done and what I've done with other people. Remember, it's practice. How long has the doctor been practicing? How long has the attorney been practicing? They don't even say ever, hey, as a, as a doctor, how long have you been playing? Do you practice that music your whole life? Do you ever get a chance to play it? So anyway, it's just a lot of words there, but it's true. A doctor practices experiments with people. Okay, you, you read the drug insert of a synthetic compound and, and that's gonna change the amount of you know, destruction that you've done by your diet. It's gonna change the amount of destruction from putting phones up to your head and carry them in your pocket, radiating your new, you know what, guys? You think that's gonna repair that? What's going to repair that is, again, self-correction. Okay, enough. We'll see you guys, and aloha. Go out and get some fresh air. Okay. And like I said, that's a booby trap word. Get some fresh air, because there is a war on your air, not only in the sky, but <laughs> every day when you wear a face diaper, it's a war on your oxygen. Alright, that's it. We'll see you guys. Aloha. Huh?